was it dot com. Okay, this is um, my third attempt. First attempt, the batteries failed. The second attempt, I forgot to press record. So I'm hoping this records okay. Um, spending all night doing this. It's supposed to have taken two minutes. Anyway, um, I'm just going to go through a few of the YouTube vids um, from Gail Dines and any other stuff. Um, I'll be covering other people as well, but as Gail Dines seems to be the main person who's the antipod and keeps getting quoted, it's probably easiest to cover the bulk of what she goes through. Um, okay then, folks. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, this video is one called Gail Dines discusses our porn sake culture with real progressive man posted on the baby rad femme tv um, youtube site published on july 2nd 2017 um, length of film is 29 minutes 57 seconds so basically half an hour i'm doing this one first because with it being 2017 it's fairly recent, so it's not like um, she's, this is an old one with old facts or anything. It's up to date. Well, I'm just going to get comfy now, folks. <laughs> right. Let's go through it. Um, at the start, um, Gail Dines described herself as a left-wing radical feminist Jew. Not sure what a village has to do with it, but perhaps um, you may consider its importance. Then she goes on to say, Porn. It's a form of violence against women. And then she also lists the, not just the porn itself, but the construction of the porn, which I presume means filming. Production. Again, I'm not sure if that's the filming she's on about or... Uh, or what you think the construction production would be the same, but I'm not sure. Um, and then distribution too. That that she includes as a form of violence against women. Um, you, you probably understand that better than me. Um, anyway. And let's see. Um, she then claims that porn is the main reason of, for violence against women today. Now, that is quite offensive and quite a big statement. Now, considering I know a few women who have been assaulted by their husbands and wives, I mean, so because um, it, and boyfriends and girlfriends, um, it's important to remember that men get assaulted. And I've had a male friend who was, in fact, put in hospital not so long ago because his girlfriend attacked him. I don't think that was due to porn. I've also known women who've been assaulted uh, by husbands and, and the boyfriends. Um, the ones that stay in it long term seem to have this um, battered wife syndrome where they believe their husband or boyfriend is going to change and often the boyfriend or husband tells them all the fancy words and gives them a lot of waffle about how they'll go into therapy or whatnot. You know, it's basically drivel. Um, from my experience, the guys basically don't love anyone. They're not even themselves. They're just full of hate. And they're quite pathetic guys. Um, uh, they, they don't really... Have, it's not often to do with anything but the hatred they have. Blaming porn is disgraceful, Gail. It's a shocking thing. I know in some other vids, and I think in later in this one, you suggest um, it's also the cause of rape. Now, what, basically what you're saying is the guys aren't responsible for rape or assaulting women. It's the videos or whatever it is. It's um, a magazine of porn, photographs of porn, anything. Which is in, it's a disgraceful thing to suggest that. Um, using the assault on women, and in some cases murder of women and men, um, using the pawn argument. 
that that's shameful and we know that the research does not even conclude that it actually some research says the opposite i'll cover that later then she goes on to the man geek firm um making she suggests this is like the bulk of um, porn in the world and they set up the porn tubes um i think they did actually to be fair to her um but the, I think her complaint is more the capitalist rather than, and a big firm are making money rather than the firm itself. I mean, I'm not a porn geek fan, mine geek, sorry. Um, but because basically they've bought out a lot of websites, so they own it a lot. And both pay sites and porn sites, they own quite a bit. Um, just from a, um, what would you call it, a um, monopoly point of view. They've got a huge chunk, but, and this is important, but, 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 folks, wait till later on, um, something she says in the video, um, and we have to giggle because I, I want to remind you, I'm geek, and you'll understand later why, why I'm giggling. Um, she goes on about Paul monetizes women's bodies, and slavery is not okay. Now that's nice and shocking, isn't it, folks? But when you think about it, everyone who works as in some form is uh, having their bodies monetized. Even in socialist systems, um, the USSR, um, even there, it happened. For instance, ballet is monetizing people's bodies. You get pay, you pay them to perform. Um, you could argue that about any job to be fair, but dance, opera, um, anything like that. I mean, you could claim that even an artist who paints is monetizing by using his hands or her hands. So the, the suggestion that just saying that, um, Paul monetizes women bodies is just a bit of a, sounds shocking, sounds good, but when you analyze it, isn't is it's what everyone does if you work i'm sure in reality you're monetizing your body it's basic as it is um porn is basically paid rape she then suggests well says actually um i think in america that's been tried by the fbi and it didn't go through i might be wrong on that so technically technically what she's saying there is incorrect um, because it has gone to, I believe, cart over that, and it has been, I think it's been tested, um, but I could be wrong. Um, we must look at the science around it, she says, around the science of palm, which suggests she's, um, she's keen on um, data, basically research, which you'll find later, she changes her mind on that, there's a bit, she gets a bit confused, you'll see later in this vid. Um, we need to think about porn as prostitution, she says. Well, why do we? Um, I mean, if you go work for somebody, you're prostituting yourself, basically. Sorry. <laughs> um, even her, technically, I mean, you could argue that her doing her own shows, um, going on YouTube, she's prostituting herself. So, you know, we all prostitute ourselves. And she says, Gail then says, studies show porn leads to violence against women right this is gets interesting because um a danish professor of criminology a burl kuchinski and i'll spell it because i'm not pronouncing it right i don't think it's b-e-r-l space k-u-t-c-h-i-n-s-k-y that's b-e-r-l space k-u-t-c-h-i-n-s-k-y he watched the effects of legalising porn in three countries. Denmark 1969, Sweden in 1970 and Germany in 1973. For two decades he charted sex crimes in those territories included that sex crimes of all natures fell because he believed that it was the release uh, for their sexual desires before they acted on them. So if that makes sense, I'm just reading the, the badly problem. Um, he concluded that free avail availability of porn was the direct cause of this decrease. So in other words, he concluded that porn actually 
rather than increased any sort of crime against women um, sexually, or actually decreased it. Is is the argument therefore being that porn actually is a healthy thing if you want to decrease sex or any sort of crime like that? So girls wrong on that, according to him. Um, then she says, Gail um, then says, um, Porn is more addictive than any other drug such as heroin. She actually starts now claiming that porn is an extremely addictive drug, dr well, it's basically like heroin. I mean, she actually she shouldn't say it's um, a bit like it or some sort of, some sort of, she's actually claiming it's addictive. Now, the argument there is simple. I, just, I always say to people, if you believe you, you're addicted to porn, um, get castrated. And if you're still addicted afterwards, well, you prove me wrong. Um, you prove that porn is addictive. But some reason, I think it's um, it'd instantly stop, which would suggest that what you're actually addicted to is masturbation. And you're just using porn as the tool to um, aid you rather than actually being addicted to it. But because I think there are research, I think evidence suggests there isn't actually anything such as porn addiction. If there is, please post a link, whatnot. Provide evidence, Gail. Um, then she she says um, porn is a driver for trafficked women. Again, Gail, if this is true, name the websites and explain why you haven't prosecuted or have you? Have you taken these sites to court? Who you? claim of trafficked women because I've never come across any websites or maybe it's a DVD firm or, or magazine but you, you, can you can you provide evidence please Gail what sites are you claiming traffic women and then she says all mainstream porn is violent um, later on she, she gives an example of this violence um, and it's quite severe including she says um, anal sex leading to bleeding now i've never seen it um and she's suggesting i think the suggestion she's watched a lot of videos again can you list these videos or the companies that um, produce such content um i've never seen any website that has ever 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 produced such violent content that she describes um she then goes on to say hardcore porn takes seconds to find and soft car takes 15 minutes again a bizarre statement because um, I've never found this hard car porn in my life what she describes um, and the bulk of it is solo and at this point we have to remember that it's not just men who watch porn it's both men and women it's not just um, women who are in, in the porn films in some cases you've got gay porn where it's just all males she doesn't mention this in others it might be all female she also doesn't mention that both men and women now um, make porn so you've got women who own porn firms film porn blah 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 and the fact that 99 percent of the porn is actually made by women because they're on webcam they work for themselves they don't work for anyone else they're filming themselves using their own gear blah 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 um, but that sort of she 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 hasn't even updated it to suggest that she doesn't know. You know what I mean, um, when you read this stuff or whatever she says, it's almost that porn's made by hundred percent con to her male, and all the women are victims and assault and blah blah blah. When in fact, when you shoot a female model, well any models, you have to get two forms of ID. You, um, especially in America, the way it's law. Um, that's a driving license often and um, a passport plus they have to sign a model release form so all this sort of suggestion they come out with these anti-porn people that that they're, they're filmed without knowing or something is just garbage um let's see what's going on now um we've done the trafficking women nonsense i mean again name the sites girl anyway oh here we go um, yeah, like I say, she, she starts then going on about boys, stroke men, being into hardcore porn. She doesn't mention women watch it. We know that. That's a fact. That women do and enjoy it. But that she forgets to mention that. 
Now we get starts getting silly. She starts talking. I'm going to pronounce this word wrong because I've written it down, but I'm dyslexic, so it'll come across wrong. Um, pow oh, here we go. Party, party, bloody hell. Party. Oh, I had it the other day, a minute ago. Patriarchal. That's wrong, isn't it? Um, anyway, that's as close as I can get to saying it. Dyslexia, you say. Anyway, um, she then she claims that that's the site we'll live in where men run the country. Now, I'm not sure which country she means because in the UK, Mrs. Thatcher, I mean, sorry, Mrs. May is a Prime Minister. Uh, Mrs. Thatcher was a Prime Minister not so long ago. Um, the Conservative Party in Scotland's run by a female. In fact, she's a lesbian. Um, not that matters, but she's, um, it's just to show that we'll, that's, we're living in quite a free society. Um, I believe the leader of the Welsh Party, or whoever runs it, is also female. The Scottish Nationals is run by a female. Um, Germany is run by a female, Mrs Merkel. I mean, the, the, you've got quite a lot of women in charge. So I'm not quite, and also in America... Um, you almost had a female president not that you were close to getting. So, you know, I mean, it's just rubbish saying that. So, I'm not sure what, what, what world she lives in. Um, and by the way, that's at 6 minutes 50. She states that in the video if you're looking. She also claims doctors, lawyers are all men. She, she goes on to say, you name it, all men. Well, all my doctors have been female. Um, so that's not true. Um, my vet is female. My friend's cat's vet's female. My friend's cat's, my friend's, the cat, if you know what I mean. But actually, the cat is female as well. Um, I, I've known many, most women that I know, there's many, many women in charge. So you, you just, it's just nonsense. Oh, yeah, I've met many lawyers who are female. Um, yeah, it's just nonsense to say that, Gail. It's actually quite in fact, I'm sure a lot of women would be offended by you saying that. I'm um, just bleating out this men run the world and women are all at home cleaning. Well, it's not true. Um, it's nice to say it, it's nice to shock women. And maybe you have maybe some of your followers happy clap when you say that before they actually analyze what you've said. You just told them a pack of lies. Like I've said, Mrs. That Mrs. May is in charge of the country. I think it's Mrs. May. I'm God, embarrassing if I said the name wrong. Um, anyway, then she goes on to how all men are going to become sick. She bangs on it, almost as if they're going to become zombies. I think the way we're being frightened by her fear tactics. Woo, fear. Um, then this, she goes on to say there may be some part that's not violent. Um, but suggests that the bulk of it is violent. Again, name the websites, the pay sites, the DVD firms, anyone that may call this really serious violent porn you claim exists. I mean, the way you suggest is like every, you've been watching tons and tons and tons. I mean, that's your, the impression I get from listening over all your vids. And so why aren't you, why aren't you producing the firms? I mean, by the way, in the UK, we have to remember that a lot of the violent stuff's illegal. You can't even do bondage if someone's tied up. It's a crime. Let me just check something before we carry on. I'm just checking that it's recording. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's recording. Oh, saves me going back and doing this again. Anyway, let's carry on. Um, so again, like I say, name the sites that you claim are violent. I'm producing this. Then at uh, 8 minutes, virtually dead on 8 minutes, um, she starts going on about capitalism bad and carpets running the world. Well, she has this anti-capitalist view. I um, might not mention that beginning. It's important to recall this. And many, most of the videos I've listened to, she goes on about how bad capitalism is and she doesn't like the fact that porn firms make money. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think most firms are, are set up to make money. I'm not sure why porn firms are supposed to not make money. It seems a bit bizarre. 
And then she goes on to say, basically, progressives are stupid. Um, anyone who doesn't agree with her is basically not right in the head. We all have to agree with her, um, basically. Then then she starts coming out with something. I've, I've not heard her say this. So. No, actually, I think I have in a few other vids. Um, she starts going about porn is racist. Um, and then she tells us what the best sellers. Now, two things there. The first thing is, what, where does she get facts on what's a bestseller? And what, what does she mean by bestseller? These DVD sales, access to adult sites. We don't, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure if she gets a, a data from for what sells well. But anyway, the second one is that this main thing is this porn is racist. I mean, she starts, I'm a bit confused because it suggests, I'm thinking she's saying that if you male white and you want to watch um, a, a black girl, that's racist. So if you're married, if a white girl goes off with a black guy, that that's I think it's just saying that's racist, and that only white people should go with white people, and only black people should go with black people, or something. It's confusing. Um, yeah, that that's a strange thing to suggest. Um, a bit disturbing over that. Um, I mean, I think she she's getting confused with fantasy and reality and in porn it's all about fantasy um anyway let's go back to what she starts going about um and then she says if porn is about the deep basement of women is that correct have i said that correct uh, and then she goes on and on um, as if that's fact well i don't think porn is about is, is that the right debasement i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right um, it suggests that that's what porn's about, degrading women. Well, I don't think it actually is. It's just about fantasy. Uh, anyway, but that's like more debatable, I guess. And she goes on about how Victoria's Secrets and other media and adverts that you see today, you would have only seen in softcore magazines 10 years ago. And she also goes on about pop videos and all sorts of that. Well, I mean, if you go back a few years, it's um, you can go back about 30 years or so to Duran Duran. And they had a pop video, quite an X-rated one, called Girls on Film. And if you look back around the 70s at least, um, they had um, a lot of the car adverts and things they used to have topless, um, racing, some even nude VIP models on there. Um, so... In reality, I'd suggest that, if anything, today the media is probably much tamer than it ever was, rather than going in the reverse. Um, so he's suggesting that we're getting more ruder and ruder, but, you know, I mean, if you go in the news, you can see how offended everyone is and how tame adverts So If you can go back th to the 70s, go on YouTube or g Google things, you'll, I'm sure you'll think that um, adverts in the 70s were much more hardcore than today. Um, but she's arguing, is Gail, that it's ruder today, but that, that you have to judge yourself for that. And she says the media is grooming people, um, suggesting that the media's got some sort of hidden agenda. Well, I'm not even sure she's suggesting it's hidden. It's just some sort of agenda she's just, puts forward that making everyone want to watch hardcore porn or something um i don't think the media's really doing that but again i mean i don't know if she's got any evidence to back this up if she's got some sort of um letters from some media firm to suggest that's the aim and that's what everyone's doing i mean i've never heard it before um i think that's a new one i'm not sure i've even heard her say that on videos before um, then we go on to, oh, this is fascinating. All research that dis disagrees with is clearly wrong, she goes on to suggest. Um, thus, I presume she must think all university studies that disagree with her, that prove porn is safe and healthy, is completely wrong. You know, that is just a complete bizarre thing to come out with. Remember, this woman's got a doctorate in sociology, I believe. Um, so she's an academic and then for her to basically say that she doesn't agree with certain research 
Oh, by the way, um, also there's some things you should ask about. Uh, I mean, one thing, I've seen videos where people in porn for models have actually gone up to her and she's dismissed them as if they're just dirt. Well, you know, when you hear these videos, she's claiming how she's so concerned and all this for them. And yeah, she doesn't seem to want to engage with them, um, which is bizarre. It's just something to note. Um, then at 15 minutes 31, um, she goes on to say that all studies show her views are correct, which isn't true. Um, because a lot of research, the real research, says opposite to what she says. Um, 1740, porn violates women's civil rights, she goes on to suggest, again, she doesn't mention gay films or anything like that, it's all about women, um, I, I mean, you, it's, uh, I, I don't think there is, they are, it is breaking women's civil rights, but I think she just likes to think it does, um, something to, it's something to think about and analyse yourself. Um, 18 minutes 11, um, she goes on about violent porn, is choking someone with a penis. Um, I think I've only ever seen it once in a film with all the millions out there. Um, but she sort of suggests that's every single video. I mean, she claims that violent porn, every video except just a few is violent porn. Um, and she also says 18, 20, 18 minutes 21. She claims that a lot of the videos are pounding away anally till the girl's bleeding. So, pounding away anally till the girl is bleeding in the video. Well, I've never seen that ever. Uh, again, girl, can you name the videos or the companies or anything? Um, the suggestion you have, again, is that you've watched thousands of these films. So, I presume you've got a hundred at least lists of sites of videos or whatever that this happens in because again i've never seen it i know it might sound shocking to a lot of the women who happy clappy and have probably never seen vids because they basically believe everything you say because they've not looked at the vids themselves they're just relying on you and they presume that you've done all this research um again how many vids have you actually watched gail um and how many times you go on because you suggest that you've done a lot of research and yet one wonders. Anyway, oh, this is a bit fun, but 19 minutes 41. Now I'll repeat that. At 19 minutes 41, Gail now goes on about how wonderful the new UK age verification is. It was supposed to start April 2018, but it's because it ain't going to work. They put it off. But anyway, she goes on saying how brilliant it is, wonderful, they'll be blah, 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 blah. Now, this is where things get fun. Um, for months, the report has been that if one firm will be age verificating people. That firm is called is called Age ID. Now, why is that interesting? Because guess who's behind Age ID? It's MindGeek. You know, the firm that girl was just slagging off at the beginning of this film, saying how bad they are. Oh yes, this firm will be getting everyone's details, yeah, possibly your passport, all sorts. We don't know what details. And yet, she's saying this is wonderful. I mean, and this is the expert on porn, she claims. She doesn't even know that. Well, you know, you can go on to, you can Google it, and it's on virtually every web news website. It's not difficult to find. It's been going on, they've been talking about it for months, and yet this so-called expert couldn't be bothered finding that information out. Mm -hmm. Oh, she does. I don't know what she's talking about, because one minute she was slagging my geek off, now she's saying that the firm HI Geek, HID, which is part of my geek, is now wonderful. And yet she says, um, hey, she's, oh, it's bizarre. I don't know. I don't understand this woman. Weird. Um, 20 minutes 19, she starts going about how porn is bad but as it's a capitalism and capitalism is a problem. Again, she's anti-capitalism. Now, if you're anti-capitalism, that's fine. Um, but the, the, you have to then question, is Gail using this uh, porn as a, an anti-capitalist argument? Or... Uh, or what? I mean, is it really? Is she really bothered about porn? And it's just capitalism she just wants to end. 
are what or it's, or it's happy about other firms making money it is it's just weird anyway um 22 minutes 40 there is a time to stop the research and be an activist now i'll repeat that she says there is a time to stop the research and be an activist so in other words she wants you to ignore any new research or any real research on the facts i mean this is an academic saying this but apparently research and study doesn't matter I mean, well, that's good. So, let's not bother studying anything. You know what I mean? So, if you've got sick, if you're sick, let, let, sorry, we won't bother researching your illness. We'll just um, make it up. Um, I mean, you know, mo most, I, I presume any academic would um, want research. Just because it doesn't fit into the research doesn't, conclude what you want to believe doesn't mean we have to suddenly stop it and ignore it sorry clearly the research does say opposite to what you agree believe in gail why don't you be honest about that anyway um 22 58 no need for research goes on about 2307 we need to demonstrate in the streets against this predatory industry oh she's using the nice scary words again predatory industry oh uh, i'm not sure that's been proved i'm not sure you basically you haven't said that i'm a predatory person take offense to that um 24 23 minutes sorry 24 minutes 23 seconds the experts do not know that this is a public health crisis she says um, now that sounds shocking, oh it's a public health crisis, but it's not a public health crisis. You see there's a lot of things that are public health crisis, um, cancer, um, smoking, overeating, um, you could argue gambling because people get into debt, so that's the dog, I don't know if you can hear, hear her in the background, um, she's just leaping away. Um, but there are lots of things that public health crisis. I mean, there's um, at the moment um, my friend's panicking about dogs getting running in the mud because there's been some quite a few deaths. Um, there's been no deaths from porn. That's the point. When you go into hospital, there isn't a department for people who were. Well, I don't think there is. I might be wrong, but I've never seen that. You, you don't go in and they say, "Oh, this way if you you've got palm problems." I mean, there's places where if you break your leg or, um, or get cancer, they'll deal with that. But I don't think there was anything in the hospitals for porn. Um, but again, I mean, I, I'm not quite sure how it is a health crisis. Um, like I said, if you know anyone who's ill from it, well, maybe I'm wrong then. But um, out of all the health issues, I don't think it exists. Um, I mean, getting a... Uh, well, it, there isn't. It's just nonsense. Anyway, so sorry. Um, so that's why the experts. When she says the experts do not know this is a public health crisis, I think what she actually means is that experts know it's not a public health crisis and don't give a rat's ass. Um, then she goes on to say, "Oh yeah, well, this is something else." Um, who have you talked to? I, I've made a little note here in porn industry. I think I've said that earlier. And what research have you done? What's the that's what I'd ask if if you're ever listening to her and go to these debates or post, even if you're pro anti porn, uh, if that makes sense, if you support what Gail says, doesn't mean you can't ask her for what the data is because a lot of times she does rabbit on a lot of made up stuff by the sounds of it. So question her, there's no harm in questioning her. Um, then we go on to 25 minutes 38 seconds. Paul makers are out to make sure you have erectile dysfunction. She says that at 25 38, she starts saying that Paul makers, that's what they're out to do. I mean, that is bloody ridiculous, is it not? I mean, did, have you ever heard of that, anyone? I know that she slips that in actually very quietly, I noticed. Um, 25 48. You have a, this is where things get even more bizarre. You have a duty to stop using porn if you have a woman in your life. Well, I don't understand that. I've got lots of female friends. What would um, what effect is it on them? I mean, they watch porn, by the way. Should they stop watch it, using porn? Um, 
I mean, it's bizarre that. So I'm swallowing now. At 25 minutes 56, this get I mean, this is bizarre. I'm going to repeat this. 25 minutes 56 seconds. She says, "You can." Gail says this. You cannot be with a man who uses porn. Now I'll repeat that. She actually clearly states you cannot be with a man who uses porn. So Gail's now asking you to divorce your husband um, and split up your family if you've got kids. I mean, what happens if your wife watches it, which I know quite a few women do? Is a husband supposed to split with his wife? Um, what about if you're two lesbians? Because I'm known lesbians. Um, is that okay because neither one is male? Um, and what happens if you're a gay couple where you're both male and you both watch porn? Um, God, I'm confused. I mean, you are a doctor, Gail, so I'm taking I'm taking advice from a doctor now. You're you're giving out advice, Gail, uh, on YouTube, um, t informing people, t telling them directly to split up, which is bizarre. Um, at 20 minute, 26 minutes 40, and by the way, if, if you split up a family with children, I'm sure that would have a lot of painful effects on the family. Um, do you not care about the children in a family, Gail, when you're telling them to leave, when you're telling your wife to leave her husband? I mean, that's bizarre. That's, phew, anyway, 26 minutes 14, um, it says, tell your husband to look up as much she goes on to say your husband should look up a lot of anti-porn propaganda. Um, and she doesn't mention anti-capitalism too. I presume she wants you to do that as well. Um, then she goes on the usual back, back to this gunk. She comes out with another vid at 27 minutes 08, 08 seconds. She starts suggesting and it's always suggests. So people believe it, it's true that um, porn equals rape. I've heard her say this in a quite a lot of videos. She does suggest it very subtly. And a lot of women then come away believing it's true. Um, then she starts bizarrely saying something. At 27 minutes, 21 seconds, she's on about men make a mess and women have to clean it up. I mean, it's real sexist rubbish. Um, I'm surprised for someone who claims they're a feminist to come out of this sexist gunk. Um, then virtually at the end, 28 minutes, 57 seconds. Oh yeah, this is fun. She says, we're the only feminist anti porn group in the country. Now, I don't sure if she means the UK or USA. Um, now, I'll repeat that. We're the only feminist anti porn group in the country, she claims. Um, it's almost as if no one else agrees with the Gale. Because if they believed it, shall there be other groups? I mean, there's a group of virtually for anything. Um, it just shows you how little support you've got and how few women actually believe this rubbish you belt out. I mean, you go around the... It's, I think you go all over the place telling people this and newspapers quote you and all this rubbish. But I don't think anyone ever... The trouble is, you see, your happy clapper supporters never question you. They think, oh, what you're saying is fact and you've done all this research and I don't think you've done a lot of research. But if you have, prove it. List all the sites you've gone on. Um, I presume you joined porn sites because there's. We, we, we can prove that we can. I can always find out because they keep a record. So you tell me the list of sites you've joined, Gail, because you must have joined at least one. And we'll check it out. And you tell me what other research you've done. It'd be fascinating. Anyway, like I say, it doesn't matter if you're pro or anti porn. The question is, you should question. All the research and look it up. Write down, make a list of everything she says and then see if it's true and who's behind the research. And look up the look up the research she doesn't like, which basically says porn's correct, which is normally done by university. Anyway, hope this is recorded. Bye.